Hello again. Continuing on with the, uh, the story of Ezra, the true historical story of the book of Ezra. And God did a miraculous thing. He granted favor, is how we say it. God granted favor to the people, touched the heart of the king in what seemed to be an impossible situation. The Jews, 50,000 of them, faithful, remnant, returned to Jerusalem and began to rebuild the temple, began to reconstruct the house of God where they were going to meet with God and to resume their lives after 70 years of captivity. <clears throat> but, as always happened, there was opposition. The people who lived in that area rose up against Ezra and Zerubbabel and uh, the rest of the people who were building the temple and resisted them. They sent a letter to the king and they said, don't you know the history of the city? This is a rebellious city. They always rebel against the king. They don't pay their taxes. They don't submit. What are you doing? Are you crazy letting this, um, this people and this temple be rebuilt? And so, as a result of the opposition, uh, the Jews stopped. They faced opposition and they stopped the building of the temple. And uh, it sat there for a, a period of years while they were discouraged. They didn't know what to do about the opposition until finally the prophets, Haggai and Zechariah. You should take a moment as you read through the book of Ezra you should stop about chapter 6 or 7, and you should read the book of Haggai, especially because Haggai rose up with the word of God, and he says, what are you guys doing? God told you to do this, and so do it. Stop building your own houses and rebuild the temple as God has commanded you to do, as the king has allowed you to do, and don't worry about the resistance. And so uh, they did begin to rebuild the temple at the prophetic, responding to the prophetic word of God. And, uh, and the people continued, the people of the area continued to resist them. Uh, but because of the prophetic word of God that they received, uh, their courage was rebuilt and they continued to rebuild the temple. Now there's more stories, as I'll share with you in, a, in another video, that happened as a result of this. But the key here is the, the value of the prophetic word. That we need the word of God in the Bible. We hope that we read the Logos, word of God, in the Bible. But God can speak to us through a prophet, through an individual, through many different ways, and we call that a rhema word of God. We call it a prophetic word of God where God is speaking to us now in our situation because He knows it and He lets us know that He knows our situation and He gives us instructions on what to do. And so we need to be, uh, especially when we're stuck, especially when we feel resistance, especially when we're not really sure what to do, we need to get alone with God and say, God, speak to me. Give me a word, a ram a word from your Bible. Uh, speak to me in whatever form that you choose, but it is the ram a word, the prophetic word of God that, that will bring life. Now we have to respond to it. As God speaks, we have to raise up and rise up in faith and we have to respond to the prophetic word of God to be able to see that word fulfilled. And so that's what happens here. In the story, uh, they were discouraged. They stopped rebuilding the temple because of opposition. And so God will work in your life. God will begin to move you forward, but you can count on it that you will receive resistance. People will oppose you. The demonic forces will oppose you. Circumstances will oppose you. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you give up is that you, you seek God if you need to for a confirmation, but you continue the work. So there's the lesson here of the prophetic word, is that don't be discouraged when God uh, moves you forward and then you meet with opposition. Opposition doesn't mean that you stop. Opposition means that you get a fresh word from God, which becomes your strength, which becomes your weapon to fight against the opposition, to overcome the opposition, and to move on with what God has called you to do.